Hi everybody, we are live today at about 2 o'clock in the morning on the 6th of February. I hope you will enjoy the upcoming rumble. I will be coming in late just so I thought I'd get you. I've not really felt up to or thought of much of a reason why to talk to you. But the reason that I haven't been doing any videos talking about whatever or just while the wrestling happens is because I've actually been trying to focus more on an old hobby of mine and really the only thing that's actually <laughs> spent a lot of time giving my life feels like much purpose. And that was the uh, should we say story ideas that I've always had on going on in my head. I've not always been working on them, but they've always been there. The characters have been there. <laughs> Speaking of that, which I've been doing more in recent weeks and trying to get back into it. I've noticed of course a lot of characters that I'd kind of forgotten about. Some characters that hadn't been main characters in the parts of the stories I've been trying to get developed into more than just sort of story ideas, story plots, but so I've been trying to get down written on paper that I've never managed to. Because I just start writing, I start trying to write, I start thinking about writing, and I stress the hell out. I panic. I obviously have never, I've, until recently, I've not heard it put better that, you know, the stories I'm trying to write, they're not films. They may play like that in my head, but they're not going to get them written like that. And I need to. I need to somehow get them written so that they. I don't know, I'm, that's what I want to do. I'm wondering at the moment if the best thing to try and do is just try and write whatever on paper right now, you know? Just try and maybe build to that ability, shall we say, if I can ever have that kind of ability. Just write something and find out what's wrong with it. Find out how I can improve. Maybe that's where I need to go. I. I don't know. And I wish I knew. And I spent years worrying about that and years never knowing what to do. I've. Wait, the last couple of years, I've kind of. Well, since like 2014, I've not really been doing much with that because uh, stuff happened to me and. Well, let's just say I felt kind of broken inside because of stuff that happened. Uh, I'm not sure if I should really talk about other than the fact that I've been going in and out of therapy because of it. <laughs> yeah, that, it's been pretty bad. It was pretty bad. But, you know, I spent, I think back in 2010 I'd gone off my story writing because I'd never managed to do more and plots with it, but then I went back to it for a while. Maybe till like, properly, till 2013 and then something happened early 2014 that just, well, I just sort of killed most hope and any confidence in me. I've <laughs> probably not really gone out of the house much, a lot, since 2014. I mean, I do it most days, but I need to go shopping with my mum and stuff. I probably kind of a, uh, you know, in the house kind of person these days, like a house cat or something. <sighs> I don't know, I've never been able to go back to the person I was since stuff happened. But. I'm trying to go back to story round, trying to go back to what really, really felt like it gave my life my purpose. These ideas, these this will, this enthusiasm, this truth. So I'm obviously trying to at the moment the first that I'm reading some uh, story writing like help books. The current one I'm reading on is about plot and structure. So it's the first couple of chapters, it was doing exercises and stuff on the idea you got in your head. But this one's about, the third one's been about getting ideas, which I've kind of, not just doing the exercises, but trying to do more than just the exercises, doing more about what the actual book talks about in this one, because honestly it interests me, and I have loads of story ideas that don't fit in with my main story. But I would love to try, maybe. The first one of the exercises was write down a bunch of titles, I've done that. I wanted to talk to somebody, and I'm hopefully going to get that done just, yeah, tomorrow, today, maybe later today. So I wanted to do that yesterday, but never got around to it. I woke up quite late feeling pretty damn horrible. I just have off. I just have quite a few bad days recently, which is also part of the reason I've not been talking much. I'm hoping this. <laughs> I'm hoping I sound okay on this recording because I know my voice isn't the best one, and maybe I could do stuff to get it sounding better. I don't know. Uh, I used to love singing and exercises, but then the people that I took singing lessons with, they started going on to more modern music, and honestly, pop sucks. I like rock music. Whatever. The point beyond that is that 
yeah. Well, I loved it, and it really helped me a lot. <laughs> I don't know, these days I just sometimes, when I feel up to it, sing along in the car to the, the discs we've got because I don't tend to like really what's on the most of the radio shows. They don't do the songs I like, so I got the songs I like and I put them on, put them in the CD player. <laughs> you know, let them go through and then put the next one in, blah blah blah. It, it's fun and it's enjoyable and it does sometimes, you can, obviously you can feel certain bits of music and they put images in your head or memories a lot of my memories can be stuff to do with stories you know people that haven't lived their lives <laughs> their memories sometimes I mean there's some um, song by Simple Plan called Take My Hand I don't know why but when the chorus comes in I always imagine the ship in space flying quite fast with lots of other ships shooting at it and it just suddenly, go, just suddenly turns and goes up with loads of ships dodging and spinning and stuff while trying to dodge all the fire and these two the two people in the pilot seats just sort of grab each other's hand and you know this song just goes take my hand tonight let's not think about tomorrow and so on and I just imagine that people just you know just sort of like realizing that they're pretty much doomed and just holding hands I'm not sure if that's really actually going to be where I might. I mean, I don't really see much of a way out, so. And about something I could probably do with. Honestly, at least one of them dying, though. I would kind of prefer to them live, but. Hell. I could probably put somebody else in that character's place for later bits. So, you know, it could, that could be the end. They just sort of hold hands, die, but. You know, they die, hold. They die with it. They die in each other. Not in each other's arms so much, but die, hold. Holding their holding each other's hands and just <laughs> I'm getting tears, sorry. At one point he was my my favourite main character for the story, but then it grew to somebody else, and then I realised that you can have it so that that character sort of starts off one ca character A starts off or character B sorry starts off because that's the second character that came in later is the main character and it builds from them being a novice to them being an experienced sort of <laughs> general in a war uh, that kind of involves the universe, I guess a bit like Star Wars. But in the same way, uh, I w my opinion at least, nothing like Star Wars, except the fact that the universe is involved. Um, and then, as stuff happens to character B, they move to something that's a lot more important for later on in the story and sort of get faded out. Well, in the meantime, the story sort of gets to follow a lot more character A, the first character, until, well I guess, until they die, and then it goes back to character B. Stuff like that. Jeez, I don't even know what I've said now at this point. Pretty sure I'm not in anyway. I put myself in as 30 just so I could talk for random about stuff because I've been feeling, I guess, a little <laughs> dual sleep. So I remember I used to, after when we used to have like Sky TV, I used to just come down at night, put the music channel on, one of the rock ones, I think it was called. Ah, hell, I can't remember what it's called. It wasn't Kerrang, it was something else, maybe Kerrang. I could have swore there was another rock one. Number 11, I we're not too much in. There was something, I can't remember exactly what. Oh well, probably not the biggest deal. But it would just, I'd just let that play and I'd just write. You know, paragraph to paragraph so, uh, to do with my plots, to do with my stories, and just. And that was the time that I was happy. I'm not, I guess, I'm not really a feeble person, which is probably why I don't like talking all the time. I don't. I hear these people making talking about nothing and I just, I don't know, I guess I don't, I don't get it as much. I mean, I do it, obviously, I just, not trying to be critical, I just, there's always stuff I'd rather talk about, I guess other than when I'm not, not being pushed by motivation in the story, not being pushed by the fact that I actually want to make something out of myself, which, obviously as you grow up, you don't know if you still believe, but to be frank, I don't know if I'm ever even gonna. Well, whatever. I want. The point is, that's why I've not been talking, doing talk videos. I've been wanting to work on my story. I've been wanting to to work harder on it and see if I can do something with it and show these ideas, show people. 
These stories that kind of got me through hard times of my life, my imagination. The I don't know. I mean, the people, the few people I've told them about, liked my ideas. But when one or two that didn't realize I was only pointing out plots, kind of how much that. Yeah, I probably. I mean, I was telling them. I was telling them my stories. I wasn't telling them the actual book. I mean, I was just talking to you about it. Jeez. Uh, never mind. I, I don't know. Maybe they took that too literal. It doesn't really matter. God, that's gotta hurt. But I don't know. I think <laughs> it might be kind of. The freeze may give him a call. Said. At least the important part. Oh, out of nowhere. I hope it sounds okay on the recording. I don't. It's hard to repeat what comes from the heart. Right here. Mostly because I don't know if I was really paying attention. I mean, I was. I was partly paying attention, but I have problems with that when I don't always remember what I've said. What I've said. Today, too fast. I do remember in conversations at school, I sometimes would have to, since we finished talking, I'd have to turn around and say to my friend, what the hell are we talking about? Which is like, I have no memory. I know exactly what you said, but, but what did I say? <laughs> Which was, looking back, was just kind of funny. I did not pay any attention to what I was saying. Not bad. Oh yeah, I was asked to, um... I was asked to get a somebody. Oh damn it! In the comment, in the comments on my videos. Oh, I can't remember who it was. Evan Bourne. That was it. I need to get Evan Bourne uh, download. I'm actually going to try and get a proper Cody and Damien from the uh, community content stuff as well. I don't mind Miz now, and I don't. But I don't mind Stardust, but I do prefer the original Miss Dow, I do prefer the original Cody. So that'd be nice. So there's three that I need to try and get. You ask why. Oh, uh, I'm gonna put the head down, sit down for a sec. My hamster wants to come out. I just realized that I've had the TV on pretty damn loud. <laughs> How much damage did that do? I hope you guys have been able to hear me quite right. I've ha I was watching something on the TV earlier, well, it's a DVD, so I had it turned up. My PS3 is a better P DVD player, in my opinion, than the PS4, but. Whatever. Who's a pretty boy, Ash? Who's a big pretty? I left your ball upstairs, didn't I, when you from earlier? Oh, out of nowhere! I need to go get it, don't I, you pretty little mon mon? Who's a pretty little work up a book like? Okay, so we're at number... 15. I'm gonna go get Ash's ball, so I'll be back in a moment, folks. Remember Thursday Raw Thursday? How many times do we need to say? And he's still in this. Oh, wow. Whoa, that was some reversal by Swagger. Look out. He's got his sight set on that neck region. Who's giving the next superstar to enter the Royal Rumble match? I love the Royal Rumble. Let's see it. Let's see who it is. And the crowd rises to their feet to see who it will be. Oh look, if you want any hope of winning this thing, stay away from this guy. Whoa, that was some reversal by Swagger. Damien in a lot of trouble here. The human body. Is he, is he out? No, he made it back in. <laughs> He's fought out of it. And there's the reversal from Neville. Okay. Um, I'm back. Ash is in his ball happily. He's a pretty boy. 
and uh, yeah. So yeah, I have lots of stories. <coughs> I do enjoy zombies, so obviously they can play parts in lots of my stories. But it's not just people trying to survive. It's <coughs> as I have always thought, a lot of the best zombie ideas are people a fighting people, b with zombies in the middle as a threat that, if not overlooked, can become a quite a deal. He's a like in at least one of my favorite sort of zombie ideas. The bad guys use the zombies which will surround buildings that people are in to know where to attack. And know where to kill people. Because the zombies say that there's people in there. So they should go wipe them out, sort of thing. And another idea I sort of have is he is he out? Uh, what I call health armies like vampires, werewolves, sort of demon creatures, archangels and all sorts sort of come up from holes in the ground which like stairways directly to hell and sort of just overrun everywhere and people just try to survive and eventually a group make it down one of those holes to hide while the planet's just overrun and everyone else is killed well most of them never really went too much into that idea <laughs> Yeah, it was just a different way with the characters from one of my original stories and just I sort of playing with them, I guess one of those what if scenarios. What would happen if these these characters had to try and survive in that, in that situation? Well, this would happen. And I kind of I kind of wrote it down and printed it out at one point. I haven't actually got my printer unpacked because I've only just started working on some story days and I haven't got that ages ago. Well, for stuff like that and I haven't been done stuff like that in an age so I it's not been used in a while I hope it works okay looks like Neville's not going out yet breaking every WWE rule in existence any more than Curtis Axel it's not enough that the third generation superstar pin an opponent oh no Axel has to break the rules oh that was close he's coming back through the ropes if he keeps up this pace, yeah this could turn I'm gonna have to obviously none of my concern is that after all I've said that having the TV on loud if I hopefully I was able to hear myself quite okay yeah <sighs> Well, one hopes so. And he fails to connect but one will obviously have to check off the rumbles over. Who's gonna enter next? My pretty little hamster is starting to run again. Here's another competitor. And look at him, Michael. He looks to Any gub gubs up? He's making a statement. No jobs up. Not that I can see from here anyway. So nobody was up before except Salt or Big White Gerbil. He's my oldest pet at the moment. And the hamster ash is the second. And then I have three Goebbels that me and my mom kind of call the babies because they they never grew quite as big as previous Goebbels. And again, Salt's bigger than all previous Goebbels that I remember. His brother Pepper, who sadly now passed on, was the size of what I believe Goebbels normally were. Golden Grey called Mustard and Mayo. They are kind of... Um, you know, I can't say I'm too bummed about that. Either. Slightly smaller, I don't know, I'd say normal, but they're okay. And then there's little Vinny who's... And we got little Vinny as like a baby because we got them really, really, really small. They were... A Vinny was... Well, he was tiny. So, so tiny. You could probably have held him like... 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 Just with just a couple of fingers. And he's grown. He's a big gerbil now. But he is still much smaller than any of the others. He's more like a mouth. Mouth size. And I love him. I mean, he's a big ass mouse now, but. <laughs> he's, at least compared to like Build a Harvest, he's much bigger than that, but. Still, he's tiny. Well, he's not tiny, he's just small now, but he was absolutely tiny when we got him. This is small, girl, it could just... Wow. I don't know, I'm not very good at describing. I love the Royal Rumble! Let's hit! Let's see who it is! Looks like he was pinpointed in the back. Oh, he missed that one. 
God, that's got to hurt. Yeah, you're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The freeze may give him a cold. A trained bare knuckle blow. Bad news, bear can stand up and go toe to toe with Little League. I was just looking at the game's audio thinking it was the commentary audio. That's how tired I am. Sorry. I am a stupid person. I will not deny that. I am a fool and a simple minded person, especially when it comes to most things that aren't my stories. I look at my damn stories and I think, how the hell am I supposed to write this complex story on this piece of paper when I have no confidence in myself? Here comes another superstar. Oh man, I hope they I know I need to have confidence, but easier said than done. <sighs> Very few people have chosen to believe in me. Except for those that tell my story ideas, they believe in me, it's just. I don't actually know how to get it done. Is he, is he out? No, and I don't know anyone that can actually help other than just maybe talk to. I know that will still help and I'm looking to do that. Hopefully later today, but <sighs> still actually getting anything written is create the Barrett Barrage. Wade has so many ways of mauling an opponent. You think he's always coming back in. And at the same time, unless I get stuff written, I'm not gonna find out how crap I am and how much I need to improve. So obviously maybe at least for these trials are never going to get out. Maybe just try and write simple stuff. When it comes to mind, probably just people running from zombies and stuff like that. So they got these things called grass zombies, which are like zombies, which are like obviously made from, look like they're made from grass, but the grass is constantly moving around their bodies, and when they reach for you, their hands can like come undone, and the bits of grass can just reach out, stretch, and like pull you into them. And when they make you and they pull you in, you be sort of. I don't know, your body gets like dissolved and turned into one of them. As far as I can tell, thinking it's a pretty horrific way to go, but. It's supposed to be horrific creatures, but I've never really understood fully how to write those when I can't. When I can barely describe crap that I know. There's also things I like to call invincibles, but that's just because they're seemingly invincible until you figure out a way to kill them. The only way to kill them is to fully decapitate them so no part of their neck can reattach to their... reattach to their body when... basically you've got to... yeah, detach the entire head from the body. Get to the far, get to one end of killing it. De decapitating it while the other end still decapitated before it can like reattach because they're made of like sort of, sort of liquidy metal thing, kind of like the Silver Surfer thing from Fantastic Four and Silver Surfer, bit like that. I mean, uh, that's probably where I got my idea from. But the only way to kill them is so you're gonna have something pretty wide, maybe two swords or something. I don't know because the second there's no blade there, they'll reattach. It's the easiest way to put it. Obviously at this point I'm hoping both the recording and my sound work out fine because this nothing works perfectly and <laughs> we're gonna hope, right? Sorry if I keep that I keep bringing that up. I'm gonna worry what there's no point in hiding it. And love to talk trash on the microphone. Well, it looks like Mr. No Days off has the night off tonight. See you, player. Oh, incredible move by Hideo and Tommy. You've also got to wonder if, because of the slight delay and the fact that this is straight to the PC which is recording, how does it get the talk in time with the game? Does it can it delay right, or does it just put the talking in and my talking slightly ahead? Because right now, Biggie just got super. Look at this thing! Sin doing a move. It works. Just. I no don't know. Like if you're watching and you saw that, you can probably tell me one way or another. If you care enough to, that's fine. I don't mind. I know, big deal. He's still not through. Hideo Tommy is fairly new to the American sports entertainment scene, but that and he's tripled up. My favorite kinds of channels on YouTube are probably just the funny moments like Vanos and his group. Oh, wait, nice reversal. 
but I also respect and appreciate channels that put a lot of work in and do good content like Warzone or Tetsuo, Rich Speed and Nozzy. Well, that's why they're on my recommended because they're small channels that deserve more subs, in my opinion. Even though I like channels like Ranas Gaming and that, they're doing pretty well. <laughs> And I wouldn't mind them getting bigger. They don't need any help. I don't think, anyway, not compared to the small channels. I think Warzone does everything. And Tetsuo, Rich Speed. I wonder if it would be better if Nazi added some, commu uh, some sort of talky, <laughs> like I do in some videos. But that's up to him completely. Here's another competitor, and look at him, Michael. He looks determined to win this match. Also, the reason I don't manage to talk about much when I'm playing the wrestling game is because I am concentrating like crazy, so maybe it's not the best game for doing talk on. I mean, that could be quite simple and easily said. Watch out, that rocked our truth. Ugh. That might have been the worst I just don't think the no, he made it quality of my communications on here is Someone being manhandled. as well as it could be. I don't know how to make it better. I'm using my mic, I'm using which is an X12 Turtle Beach for the record, which is supposed to be pretty damn good. I'm not using a mic mic because this attack is a honestly got nowhere to put it. I mean, I have kind of now, you know, actually, but I've got a blue ice mic somewhere and I have no idea where it is because I moved in like, December. No pun intended, of course. Yeah, he's not gonna Was it late November? I can't remember. Around then. He's coming back through the ropes. We've only been in here a little while. Honestly, this is probably the best place we've lived in a while. Hideo Otami reversing it. Incredible. I can assure you. We lived in four different places last week, last month, last uh, year, last year. Sorry. My head's not. Oh, I'm coming in soon, I better get ready. Oh, nope, nope, Santino. I hope he goes out. I don't want the Usos or Sin Cara to win. So it's got it needs to be me, R Truth, or Hideo Atami. Things don't favor the two I like. Man, that's a Wait, all six are in, so I might have one. Put my mic back down. Santino Morella, no problem getting out of that one. Oh, out of nowhere. Well, if there's one thing you can say about when Jimmy Uso's in the ring, it's that he is excellent. Who dares? I don't know if I've who dares eliminate him? Who can pick Probably Archie. I'm guessing. <laughs> I wasn't paying full attention to it. Damn it. Well, at least one of the Usos is out. Good. Count my blessings. Let's see what Santino does with this. Nice Say what you will, I just don't like the Usos. He's still in this one. Bigger and better men have done all their moves. What's he gonna do here? Which I guess is kind of the point because they're of that family. But the fact is, Reigns is already in. Like well, I, don't, I guess they were there before Reigns, but oh, whatever. That's how you win I don't know. I just I've never liked the Usos. It certainly is now. Yeah, it's gonna be and I've not really right. liked Santino much. I liked him more as a heat. Oh, than as a face. Back when he was part of. Well, with uh, Beth Phoenix. I think I was okay with him then. Can't just look at this man. He's out of business. And that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. Whether you respect Okay, now I'm a heavily over thingy person, hopefully, so I should win quite easily. But the point of this video was talking, not playing fair. See if I can do this. And has been a top WWE superstar for more than seven years. Santino's entertaining and a fierce competitor. And if you couldn't tell yet, Santino also subscribes to the concept of a wolf in sheep's clothing. Who's number 30? Okay, and we're down to three. Jey Uso's on his way out. Hey, he was just overpowered here tonight. See, Cara's hopes of winning this one have been dashed. Man, that's a Dang it, I was trying to get into the corner. Well, it's me or R-Truth, so can't complain. Sin Cara and the Uso's aren't winning. You know, R-Truth has so many... Take that, Sin Cara. I don't 
think we can list them all. A somersault plancha. Or should I say Mr. Botchmany? Head scissor. And he can avoid attack and come back with one of his own. He immediately gets the crowd up on their feet. Oh, this is lie detector. What a move. Oh, that's not in my favor. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. So punishing. I wonder what I can do to turn the tables. Obviously, if I get his finisher, that would be good. But reversing them is not always going to plan. Like, you can't always do it. You can press it and you can swear you press it at the right time, but nope, nope, you didn't reverse it and you're pretty hurt. And again, and again. Our truth is known for being unorthodox, but he's also known for his fucked. The high flying maneuvers, exciting kicks, and truth or consequences, which is part vertical suplex and part stunner. It's a move you have to see to believe, which I think sums up our truth as a whole. Well, truth's all business when it comes to. And he's still in this. Take this, truth. Very impressive. And that. Oh, he missed. Oh, -ho. nobody home that time. And now, our truth pushing forward. Avoids trouble there. Yeah, Triple H saw that one coming a mile away. Oh! Oh, out of nowhere! What a scoop slam! Man, you can feel that on the top of the dead gum arena. Gosh, right now, as I think about Triple H and pay per views, I can't help but think of his match at WrestleMania 29 versus Brock Lesnar. That was such an emotionally charged battle where this time Triple H's career was on the line. Man, oh, lights out. Okay. Let's see if we can get this done. Boy, he is really tired now. Get up. Thank you. No, Irish whip. It has to be. And I fucked up the Irish whip. Fuck. Well, I'm pissed. And here comes Triple H. Too much. I just wish to end this madness. Swing with that one. Just right. That was wild indeed. Good thing we're okay. And the madness is over. Hope everyone enjoyed. And I'll see you next time, okay?